Hey everybody, welcome back to A Brief on Grief. Um, today, uh, feeling this is, I guess, the first video that I've made in 2022, um, besides the invites to the live stuff um, that I did earlier in January. And I'm realizing as I reflect on January that it has really been, I was predicting that January would be magical, that it would be full of a lot of surprises and emotions, and that's exactly what it has been. <laughs> there has been some beautiful joy and magic and excitement and inspiration and so many wonderful emotions. And there has also been a lot of painful emotions, fear, shame, um, anger, resentment, a bunch of different things. It really has been like a roller coaster a soup, a soup, I like to call it, a soup of different emotions um, over this past month. Well, since the beginning of 2022, really. And again, one of my, one of, one, one of these, one of the things that I try to do, this is a way of demonstrating love for myself. It's the way of being with myself in love with every emotion that I feel. When I'm in it, I'm always trying to be with myself. Even when I'm in the most shame, where I just want, where I feel just icky about myself and want to stick a head and <laughs> want to stick my head in the hole, or fear and worry and panic, I always just try to keep coming back to me. And this is really the journey that I'm on, and really the journey that I believe has changed my life, and the journey that has borne inspiration in me to share these messages and how important how important it is to know and be with the emotions and to be with yourself through everything the ups and downs especially the downs to courageously do that every day and what's in my what's swirling around in my body today like with lots <laughs> lots of swirlies and whirlies um is this podcast that i found this morning um, that Brene Brown did with Mark Brackett on Permission to Feel is what the title was called, which is linked to his book called Permission to Feel. And oh my goodness, what a journey of like different emotions even in that. <laughs> that podcast was like a little mini version of what my January was like. like so many different emotions, inspiration and heartbreak um, as they speak about the world and the suffering of our 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 culture this was this was done back in april of 2020 so just as the pandemic was sit, setting in like in just a month long and them talking about the different emotions and talking about how we're lacking that language to speak the different emotions i know in a previous episode i talked about that in relation to brene brown's new book the atlas of the heart where she gives language and explanation and real life experiences, vulnerable, courageous, real life experiences of her life and these different emotions. And it gives us, it gives us the language to speak what we're feeling because when we don't have language, we don't, we can't express. And then there's, there's, there's shame about things that we can't express. And when we, that we don't understand about ourselves or other people or our world. So this, this podcast was just, it speaks to the inspiration that's in me. Um, and what's driving like his work, what's driving Brene's work, what's driving so many people's work these days, I think in the transformation world, is that normalizing the human experience. And the way we normalize their human experience is through emotions. We are emotional beings. Everything is emotional for us, um, but yet we're not, because we're not taught about, about emotions, we don't have curriculum in school that teaches us about what our emotions are, how do we recognize them, how, how do we process them? How do we speak about them? None of this. And this is the work that Mark Brackett is doing, bringing this language and bringing this kind of education into school so that it becomes part of the curriculum at an early age. I think he's looking at like elementary age of, of trying to incorporate it. So it's, it's just powerful work and it really speaks ultimately to the passion I have and the way that I choose to live my life every day. It, giving myself permission to feel everything and anything and giving myself that permission is what allows it to kind of move and go right giving ourselves permission giving 
giving our bodies permission to feel everything that's feeling and our and the way and our mind and whatever it's doing to process and make meaning to the feelings just being with it all and it really reminds me of Brene's quote when she says she chooses courage over comfort every day and I've taken that to heart <laughs> I've taken that and own that on myself too and really this is like one of the biggest ways that I think courage is demonstrated by giving yourself the permission to feel everything that you feel every day and to not only feel it but to feel it and try to be aware of the, any judgments that you might put on it and try to soften to yourself and hold space for yourself and make it okay that you're experiencing what you're experiencing and feeling what you're feeling it's absolutely everything it this part of my journey has has transformed everything for me and when I thought about all of this this like permission to feel and having the courage to feel every day I thought this is what EFT this is what emotional freedom technique or tapping is for me like <laughs> the in this podcast Mark is talking about a process called ruler like recognizing your emotions understanding your emotions um, labeling them expressing them and responding or I can't remember what the R is but I thought that's the whole process of what tapping what what goes on when you do tapping um, especially when you're doing tapping with another person that's holding space for what's real for you right you're recognizing you're going to your body you're going to be quiet be still with yourself to see what you're feeling right with the language that this work that Mark and Brene and different people are doing we're, we're, get, we're getting to the you part, the understanding what we're feeling, right? What am I feeling? What is my body feeling? What is this situation? So again, in that understanding is another version of allowing it, right? And then labeling it, knowing what emotion you're actually feeling, right? That's huge for being able to allow it and give it space. And yeah, so I mean, and this expressing it and then responding or whatever the R is for, but either that the rule anyway, <laughs> is it's exactly what you do with EFT it's exactly why I love EFT right it's a space it's a tool and it's a space that you create when you're when you're tapping with yourself or with another person or with a group where you create that space to own what you're feeling and if you're not sure what you're feeling then you're tapping it and you're helping your body communicate with you and become clear about what you're feeling and then you're honoring what you're feeling and allowing it and you're expressing it with your words, either to yourself, which is powerful in itself, or to somebody else. It's just, yeah, it's the permission to feel tool. EFT is the permission to feel tool. It's, it's, it's just beautiful how this is, it's all come together for me today and that why all these different passions of mine just all kind of blend into this same, this same energy of loving and giving permission to everything that exists everything that I feel and it's really it's began to heal my it's healing my heart it's healing my body it's healing my relationships it's healing my world and it eventually spreads out to healing the hearts and the worlds of the people that I'm connected to it's just it's that powerful that's the journey that we're all on as humans really I believe and the journey we're all on to heal our society and culture so Yes. Mm, beautiful, delicious. I'm going to put the link to this podcast that I'm referring to in the notes below. So check it out and have a fabulous day. I'll see you next time. Bye.